I am actually greeted with a nice message from Naruto to remind me that I should start my day by meditating and it'll make me feel much better. Okay, Naruto, let's do it. I'm gonna make this year my year. The year in which I get over my fear of failure and chase after my kind of ridiculous goals, like getting a million views per video. Just the thought of being able to reach a million people. That's my dream. And it sounds terrifying to me, but you know, I'm 28 years old and it's finally time that I started chasing after my dreams. Anyways, so I have actually started taking action towards this and getting my life back together by consistently self-studying about how it is to make better videos, how is it to do better research, how it is to communicate better. But I know to be able to get to that next level, I also need to start fixing some of my very bad life habits like sleeping super late, not eating well, not exercising, because I do think it's a necessary next steps to give me the best chance of reaching these goals. So to do this, I decided to build an AI bot to help myself out and try it out. Of course, it's based off Naruto because it's my favorite anime and it has some pretty handy features that I'm excited to show you about. So there is a lot of work that I need to get done today. Um, I have to finish up this video. I have to do the documentation for some code, review some proposals, got to study and learn more about marketing. And I'm actually going to San Francisco tomorrow morning. So I also need to pack and just like, there's just a lot that I have to do. Oh God. Basically, I decided it would be an excellent idea to do nothing for the past week. So now it's coming back to bite me in the ass. All right, I'm going to explain how the Naruto AI bot works and how I'm using it to correct and fix some of my bad habits. But first, let me actually get some working and studying done to make myself feel better. I always start a work or study session with a brain dump, which as it sounds, is when I just dump all the things that I need to do onto a piece of paper. It's pretty crazy afterwards seeing how many things that I have just floating in my brain. First thing I do is cross out things that are not actionable. Don't have anything like that here, but sometimes I just have things like, oh, like, you know, think about stuff under the universe. I don't know. Anyways, next step is to go down the list and write the priorities. So P0 is the highest priority and there's P1 and then there's P2. And then I figure out what are the things that I can do within less than two minutes. So I label these out and I'll do them right after the brain dump. Next, I zero in on just the P0 stuff because honestly, even though I have the P1 and P2s, I'm not gonna actually do them because <laughs> even the p0s is a lot of p0s so out of these p0s i would label them um when it is that they need to be done usually based upon deadlines for example gotta work on this video today because the deadline is coming up then i combine this with my study plan by the way you can check out this video over here if you want to learn more about my study plan anyways so i combine that with what's supposed to be on my study plan for that day and then i join them together to figure out what are the things that i need to do throughout the day All right, so now I'm finally ready to get started working. Okay, so our Naruto AI bot communicates with you through Discord DMs, but under the hood is using GPT-4 and Vision to hold a conversation all using Kestra. Kestra is an open source developer-centric orchestration tool thanks to its extensive plugin system and language agnostic capabilities. If that sounds super technical, a lot of words, bear with me, okay? I promise all of it will become super clear in just a bit. But first, I need to give a little bit of context. In the early days of orchestrations, we have these things called cron jobs, which is used when you want to schedule reoccurring things. Like for example, you might want to run a program at like 7 a.m. every day, but it's evolved into a platform that we call Kestra with a lot more capabilities. 
So I've been wanting to build something like this Naruto AI bot for some time now. I wanted to have custom handy features that can help me with my daily life. But this task was very daunting to me because if I was just going to go schedule these reoccurring cron jobs, that would mean I need to spend a lot of time tediously chaining together different APIs, interacting with a database, making sure that things are scalable, managing multiple workflows because I want to have like lots of different custom features, right? So I need to make sure that they're not interfering with each other. So when Kestra reached out to me, I was kind of mind blown when I realized how easy it would be to build this custom AI bot that has multiple functionalities and can integrate seamlessly with OpenAI's models. After you install Docker locally, you can install Kestra with a single command. Literally takes 30 seconds. Then you can build your workflow. Let's take that morning greeting from Naruto, which I showed you earlier as an example. By the way, they also have this really nice UI. Okay, so the flow is called daily meditation because we're reminding ourselves that we need to meditate. Here's the editor where you can declare the whole flow using YAML file. Um, let's look at the topology here. So the trigger is every day at nine o'clock. Then we send this prompt over here. You are the anime character Naruto, write an SMS to me, blah, blah, blah. Tell me to chill, tell me to meditate, things like that. Then we send that to GPT-4. Then we get a response from GPT-4, which, which then we can send as a Discord message. Let's actually execute this. So we're sending this prompt over and this is the gone to view so you can see exactly what's happening and it looks like we are done and if we go on discord we can see that our naruto ai says hi tina take a break seriously rest for 10 minutes meditate remember no storm lasts forever unleash your inner strength you got this sign naruto how motivating. If you work at all with data pipelines, Kestra is just so amazing. To get started, I recommend checking out these blueprints, which is basically this curated list of ready to use workflows where you can just plug and play. And they cover pretty much all the essentials. There are a bunch of different ones. You can also see there's data engineering pipelines, business processes, infrastructure, bioprocessing, using HubSpot. Yeah, just a lot. Like look at all of these plugins that are supported natively. In my case, I use the chat completion from OpenAI a lot. Anyways, I highly recommend that you check out Kestra. It is completely free and open source. You can check out their GitHub repository over here. You can check out their website. Thank you, Kestra, for sponsoring this video and allowing me to finally build my dream Naruto AI bot. Let's go get something to eat because I am starving to death. <music>
I also remember that I need to check on my flight in terms of when my flight is, what the layover situation is, and how far away it is for the airport, like all of these things so that I don't miss it. Okay, so normally what I would do, and it's kind of weird, but I don't know if you can see that. Um, what I do is I just put an alarm for a certain time and just put like all the things I have to remember to do. However, as you can probably predict, this is not the greatest method um, because I'm just like have a bunch of these alarms and then I'm just resetting all the time. Anyways, so Naruto AI bot has a remind me feature. So instead I can just ask Naruto to remind me to check out my flights in 30 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm just literally walking back and forth right now and people are staring at me. Oh, yeah. All right, I got some souvenirs for people. First of all is this Malaga bag with the different coffees in it. They all kind of look the same, I think. What is that? Does that mean like no, co no coffee? Does anybody else feel like whenever the cup of coffee is like really small, I'm like, ah, oh, it's not worth that much money. I got this, I think, well it says chocolate, um, chocolate black chocolate, dark chocolate with almonds, I believe, strawberry gin, strawberry gin, I don't know, cake of some sort, it looks pretty, it has like lemon, uh, I think that's like orange slices on it, I, I really don't know what this one is, but I thought it looked cool. So I got these. They gave me this as a gift. I don't, I don't know what that is. Some other sort of chocolate thing. And I got a magnet. So I also got magnets from Morocco as well. I don't think I showed you guys. It's like wrapped up, whatever. I'll just open it. It's also crazy because there's five magnets here it costs less than one magnet from from spain so i think this in total was maybe like one euro like 1.5 euros for all five this was two euros anyways these morocco magnets so i can get it to focus and this one is, is really cute i think this one is from Tangier. Oh no, I think the little Morocco at the bottom disappeared. Oh no. Okay, maybe I can't, maybe, maybe I'll just keep this one. And shit, I think this one fell off too. Like, you can kind of see Morocco at the bottom, but I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be like, I don't know. I thought this was supposed to be like a little raised like so that you can see the morocco clear that's what i thought but i don't know maybe i forgot dang it this one is for someone who really likes magnets most people will be getting the morocco ones though time to say goodbye to this room soon it's so cute it's such a cute room don't look at my laundry and the shit on the cabinet uh, before someone says your face is so shiny i know i know oh looks like i also got my notification to check on my flight so i'm gonna do that okay so i am leaving at june 13th united okay departure time is 9 35 and then laying over at ewr what is EWR? I don't know. Ah, New York, Newark Airport. All right, so from Malaga AGP to New York, Newark, New York is eight hours and 40 minutes. And then a three hour layover, two hours and 45 minutes until 3 p.m. in New York and another six and a half hours until SFO. This is crazy because the total flight time is a bit over 15 hours from Europe. When I'm coming from China, like from Asia, it's around like 12 hours. For some reason, I always feel like Europe should be closer to North America than, than Asia is. 
but I guess not. Geography is definitely not my strong suit. But one of the benefits of going from Europe or Asia back to North America is that I start on June 13th and I still land on June 13th as well. So I gain back, how many hours do I gain back? Like eight hours, I believe. Okay, how long does it take to get to the airport? Can I even like get an Uber here? Okay, it's only 15 minutes, allegedly. I'm gonna pre-schedule an Uber. It is 10 o'clock and I'm leaving tomorrow at 6 20 so I'm gonna go take some calls do something tonight I don't know what with the rest of the people at Nomad House because there's just such wonderful people and I'm gonna miss them a lot but I'll catch up with you guys right before bed because there's one more feature of Naruto AI which ties it all together and I want you guys to see it all right Right, so we have our meeting uh, with Doreen in like an hour, right? Yes, I was getting some good. So discuss first the timeline and then... We care. So they just say some vague stuff, you know? I am ready to go to sleep. I did not actually finish packing. So I'm gonna procrastinate until tomorrow morning and wake up at like 5 a.m. to finish packing. But before I go to sleep, I wanna show you the last feature of our AI bot. It is able to compile the information from the day and send you a final report. Um, so the food information is there, but when we were walking around town today, we're also tracking the number of steps through Strava. So all of that is compiled together and you can see how you did for today. Of course, you have other exercises like rollerblading, which is my new hobby now, or biking, or running, all of that can be used as well. That's pretty cool, right? So overall, I think this bot is a really good proof of concept and it was actually not that hard to build because we were using Kestra. Uh, there's a lot that we can improve on. Like for example, I would love to have like an actual calorie tracker um, and in terms of recognizing the food and being able to add context so that it's better able to accurately identify what it is that I'm eating and what are the macronutrients and what the calories are. The more automated, notification systems that can remind you that you should go work out to remind you of what your goals are and be able to help you keep track of whether on a long-term basis yeah maybe like a system where it's keeping track of your habits on a day-to-day -day basis and can tell you what it is that like how much how how good how <laughs> oh my god you're how good you are achieving your goals oh my god that's that the sentence did not make sense how close you are to achieving your goals and then give you like words of encouragement something like that um anyways so 
I clearly cannot talk anymore. Well, you can check out the GitHub where, you, where we have the code. Please, if you want to add on these additional features and improve things, I would be so happy. And I would love to have a revamped V2 version of Naruto AI bot. You can also try for some other characters as well. That could be interesting. All right, I am going to go to sleep. Good night.